future You my destiny, you my blessing, I was so blind Daddy told me you my gold mine Ain't felt this way up in a long time Ain't got no time to face, let's face time We so different, we so different We so different, we so different We so different, we so different What's the point of living? You my everything, just like my gun. I need you close. Like two brothers, we used to argue. That's what hurt the most. I fucked up, I lost sight. I was blinded by the light. I did wrong, but baby, two wrongs don't make it right. She hurt me, I hurt. What's going on, you guys? It's me, your boy Scotty, and you're watching my review on Married, not nah, shit, not Married to Fucking Medicine, Marriage Boot Camp, the Hip Hop Edition, Episode 3. Look, I'm late. It's literally 11.57 p.m. Friday night. So, this review is probably a day and a half late, pretty much. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. This has been a stressful week. I've been annoyed all week. I'm not in the best mood right now, but shit, I almost didn't even do this video. I'm tired. I'm annoyed. I'm frustrated. It's just one of those weeks. It this always tends to happen. Every time my birthday is around the corner, it, tend, it tends to happen, okay? But everybody just keep me in your in your fucking prayers. Just keep me in your prayers, okay? Just keep me in your prayers and just let me get through this video. And I know somebody, I've noticed a comment from someone on my Love and Hip Hop Miami video. They were saying, you calm as hell when you, uh, for you to be mad right now. You calm. I'm surprised, okay? Like, very monotone right now. But let's just get on into the video. Or whatever. So we're gonna start off with Nia and Soulja Boy. Um, they are so draining. And Nia is draining for allowing this shit to happen. And he gets mad with her about breakfast. I guess she didn't do the breakfast the way that he wanted her to do it. And he wasn't appreciative of it. And I just feel like Soulja Boy does a lot of things to get under Nia's skin. And I can tell you why I don't like Soulja Boy. I can tell he's a fucking Leo. And she's a Cancer. So everything is gone. She's going to take everything personal. And she's very sensitive. Nia is, is very sensitive. Most cancers are. My mother is a cancer. So she's very sensitive. And she's not going to forget this shit. When she get tired, when she get tired, tired, she's going to get tired and she's going to leave this motherfucking ass. And it just look, you know, I remember when we first saw Nia on Love and Hip Hop, she was um, petite, kind of. I won't say that she was always fat. Um, I mean, always skinny. But she was kind of skinny. And she was cute, but now her titties is big as hell. She didn't get, she got a little bit of weight on her. I just feel like Soulja Boy has put her through a lot of stuff. You know, a lot of people get stressed out by niggas and they lose weight, but Nia got stressed out by a nigga and she gained it. And I think that food is her way of coping. Because honestly, when I'm stressed, I eat a lot of food. Like, point blank, like, I eat a lot of food while I'm listening to music. Like, I gotta have me some Zaxby's, I gotta have me some New South, I gotta give me a little bit of bumpers, I gotta give me a little bit of something to ease my pain. Gotta give me a little bit of cookies and cream, ice cream, drink a little vodka, get a little Pepsi, you know, all the shit that's making me get a good at this point. You know what I mean? So, I believe that's what's been going on because so much boy be treating her like shit, okay? So, now we're talking about... Who wears the pants in a relationship? So they got them like these 7X jogging pants for both of them to get inside of and they give them different chores to do. Nia and Soulja Boy washes the dishes. Jessica and Sean washes the clothes. Tammy and Walker cleans the pool. Fizz and um, Fizz and Tiffany make up the beds. And Lil Mo, Lil Mo and Dynamite works out. And I already said Tammy Walker cleans up the pool. So, while they're doing this, 
Nia is trying to wash the dishes and she asked Soldier Boy to, to dry them off as she's washing them. So Soldier Boy was like, no, nah, we ain't finna do that shit, you know what I'm saying? We already got a dishwasher. What what are we drying the, the uh you know, drying off the dishes for? And Nia was like, Well the dishwasher is out of order, so let's just dry the um the dishes off. He didn't want to do it and he started disrespecting her all off the rip, saying that her breath stank. And all of this stuff saying her breath smells like ass and everything. Like, straight up embarrassing her. Straight up making her look like an idiot, okay? And she went the fuck off and she just couldn't take it no more. And I felt like Nia was going to strike his ass. And to be honest, as big as she is, I believe she could take Soulja Boy's little ass. To be quite honest, because Soulja Boy be doing shit and he know that he fucked up for doing it. And it's just wrong. And I just feel like she just needs to put his ass in his motherfucking place. Because she don't deserve it. It's draining to watch them together. You know what I mean? Like, it's not even entertaining. It's very draining to watch them together. Just simply because of the fact that we already know that he's fucked up for what he's doing to her. We saw how fucked up he was on Love and Hip Hop and we see how fucked up he is right now. He's definitely fucked up. And it's toxic as fuck and it's only bringing out the worst in her. I love Nia. If y'all ever seen my Love and Hip Hop Hollywood reviews, I've always had like a decent opinion on Nia. I've always loved her. But I just don't understand why she feels like she got to stay in this shit. But that's easier said than done because we've all been sucked into toxic relationships being that that's all we know and we stay there. Point blank, we stay there. So I'm not trying to judge her because I can't judge because I've done the same motherfucking shit. So I can't judge her for shit, okay? Not, not one bit. And I, I, just, I just feel like she deserves more. You know what I mean? Um... It to me, you know, Jessica and Sean, they going, they having a little squabble about the clothes. Um, Fizz and Tiffany, they making up beds, but all Fizz wanna do is fuck, and that's making Tiffany upset. Um, Lil Lil Mo and Dynamite seems to be working well together throughout all of their dysfunction, and I feel like they're probably the most dysfunctional besides. Nia and Soulja Boy, they the number two most dysfunctional. They seem to work well together despite all the shit that they go through. Um, but Tammy and Walker, they got their own set of issues as well. And they like to come out as the clean couple. But they ain't pretty much clean because Tammy got a temp on her ass too. So, Tiffany is pissed off. And Walker is like... The man just wants some pussy. He wants some pussy. And Tiffany was like, that's all the fuck he wants is pussy. And I'm not nobody's sex toy. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, that's not all I have to offer is sex. All he wants to do is fuck. And you know what? I don't like Tiffany at all, but I kind of feel bad for her. Because I do believe that she really likes Fizz at this point. But Fizz really ain't trying to get in a relationship with her. He just want to fuck. You know what I mean? And that's probably, and I believe that she, I believe that she likes Fizz now. But I do believe it started off as a ploy to get under Monique's skin. But then she fell for the nigga. And now she and all she was offering was some pussy. And that's all he's been accustomed to getting is pussy. Like he don't have to get nothing else but the pussy. You know what I mean? So at this point, that's all he fucking knows. And now she wants to change the, the roles and the positions at this point, And she can't handle it. So that's all that really is. Um, they do the blind driving and come to find out Mo and Carl won. And that's because, um, you know, Fizz and who was it? Fizz and Tiffany had the least amount of time to drive to the finish line. But Mo and Carl worked together the most. You know, Mo let Carl take the lead and let him, you know, lead them on. And that's pretty much what it was. So now Tiffany is frustrated with Fizz. Like she said, she's over Fizz, always wanting to sleep with her. You know what I mean? All he keeps talking about is her not giving up the ass or her not doing this or her not doing that. And she was like, yeah, I would be lying if I said I didn't want to have sex with Fizz. I'd be lying if I said I'm not horny and want sex because I do, but I'm not going to do it because it's all he wants me to do. But Tiffany, if that's all you know him to do, you need to just let it go. Y'all can leave this motherfucker boot camp because ain't shit going to fucking change. All he wants to do is fuck. That's it. And you know that and that's all he's showing you and you still want to go through this? This is not going to change his mind, sis. Let it go. Um, Tammy revisits Walker's cheating and how that really fucked with her spirit and how 
it ruined their relationship at one point and she gets so emotional that she don't want to talk about it no more. But we already know that Tammy and Waka went through some shit because Waka put her through some shit, okay? He really did. So, yeah, we already know that. Um, Tiffany and Fizz serve Mom and Carl. They are, they are the worst waiters and waitresses ever because they are sore losers. They don't want to serve them just because they lost. Y'all never would have lost if y'all would have been on y'all shit, but y'all are not. Y'all ain't even compatible. Like, the only reason why you even with Fizz is because of Monique's. But like I said, it's probably started off as a ploy to get under her skin, but you wound up falling for the nigga and you kept giving him the ass. And now that's all he wants his ass, and that's all you've ever given him. You haven't given him nothing else of substance, and that's just what it is. Um, Tammy and Waka, they're obviously having communication issues because Tammy gets mad too quick. But Waka pushes the button so she can so he can get her mad so he can immediately fix the problem and then they can fucking get it over with. That's pretty much what it is. So yeah. So it's time for the jury of the of the peers. And um really what it is is that Tammy realizes that she's still angry about certain things that has happened. She really hasn't fully gotten over it. Like she loves Waka. And she wants to make the relationship work, but she's not completely healed from everything that he did. And it's okay to admit that. You know, sometimes you can forgive a person, but you can still be angry about stuff. You know what I mean? So, you can forgive things, but you can never forget it. And there's a lot that she can't forget. So, she has to go. So, so she has to figure out how she's going to move forward. Because you can't move forward if you're still holding on to things that happened in the past. The past can't determine your present or your near future, pretty much. Um, Tiffany is suffering from a broken heart, to be honest, based on what appears like. Because she wants Fizz, but Fizz really don't want her. And it's like, he's he's just not that into you. Quit chasing and face the truth, like K. Michelle said. He's not that into you. And you just gotta let it go, sis. Let it go. Like... He ain't here for you. All he here for is the pussy. The body. That's what you got. That's all you've ever been able to give him. Now you want more and he's not able to get it to you because you didn't make that clear from the beginning. You went you proceeded to give him the ass. And that was your first mistake. Um, Jessica and Sean, they really ain't got no big issue. You know what I mean? They really don't have no big issue. It's just basically a control thing. She want to control him. He want to control her. That's pretty much what it is. Um, when it came down to Nia and Soldier Boy, Jessica Dine said she sees maturity, immaturity in the both of them. I agree. As much as I am team Nia in this situation, somebody got to be the adult. And Soldier Boy is a lot of things. He's childish. He's immature. He's stupid. He petty. He just ain't. He just no. He ain't even worth her time at this point. So it's kind of like you know, what's the point of her even going through the motion? So yeah, he's all of that and more. But Nia also got to be a woman about the situation too. She's not necessarily off the hook. Now she's not completely wrong for her reaction, but she got to be a woman at the same time. Somebody got to be the adult, and Soldier Boy clearly ain't gonna be the adult. So Fizz, um, at the end of the of the show, he got trust issues, and not only does he have trust issues, he got daddy issues, and he wanted that perfect family with his dad, but he didn't get that. So because he didn't get that perfection from his father, he's looking for perfection in other women and trying to get that perfect relationship. And when it doesn't go his way, he pounces. He's done. He doesn't want to deal with it no more, and he wants T Tiffany to be. Perfection. He wanted Nikki to be perfection. He wanted Moniz to be perfection. He wanted Kamaya to be perfection. That's what he wanted, but he didn't get that. So because he didn't get perfection, he don't want to fuck with them no more. And that's just basically what it is. So this is my review on Marriage Boot Camp. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share the video. Um, all my social media is at the bottom. And be sure to pick up the new single by Denzi. Um, the song that was playing at the beginning, the song is called Relations and is available on Spotify and Amazon right now. So make sure y'all support the homie Denzi. I'm planning on doing an unfiltered with him so y'all can get to know more about him. If you don't remember, he had a song called We The Gang that was playing on my videos, um, all this past summer. So I'm trying to support local talent right now. So hopefully, um, the next time y'all see me will be the Housewives of Atlanta. And hopefully I'm in a better mood, y'all, because... This has not been my week. I swear it has. And I'm ready for it to be over. Tomorrow can't come soon enough for me.
I'm going to hear you guys. Peace.